here is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Hi, guys. I am a cell. You all know your body is made up of cells. Humans, animals, and plants are all made up of cells. We can only be seen under a microscope. Ah, so you want to know how we form a body? Many of us join together to form a tissue. Then tissues join together to make an organ. After that, organs join together to form an organ system. And all organ systems combine together to form a body. So now you know that we are very important. Now let me tell you about my internal parts. My parts are called organelles. Let's go inside my body. Each cell is surrounded by an external membrane which gives shape to the cell. This membrane allows certain substances to pass through it, thus controlling movement of material in and out of the cell. Oxygen and nutrients can pass in, and carbon dioxide and other waste material can come out of the outer membrane. The cell is filled with a jelly-like substance called cytoplasm. All organelles float in cytoplasm. Here is the nucleus. It is the control center of the cell. The nucleus has a membrane that has pores in it. These allow certain molecules to enter or leave the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, there is a small thread-like structure called chromosomes. Chromosomes carry genes, which are responsible for hereditary characters that are passed on from parent to cell to the new cells. There's another important organelle called endoplasmic reticulum, which is a network of tube-like structures found throughout the cytoplasm. Its outer surface is either smooth or rough. The rough surface has other organelles called ribosomes. These make it rough. Endoplasmic reticulum provides a highway for the transport of material within the cell and often between the cells. They connect different parts of the cell and help them to exchange material. Now let's talk about the powerhouse of the cell. These organelles are called mitochondria. These are small, rod-shaped, and are found in large numbers. There are highly folded membranes inside it. These are the sites of respiration in the cell. During respiration, food is oxidized in the presence of oxygen and energy is released. Therefore, these are also known as the powerhouse of the cell. Before food goes to the mitochondria, it needs to be digested. This work is done by other cell parts, called lysosomes. Lysosomes contain many enzymes, which help in the digestion of food. In some conditions, lysosomes release certain enzymes that digest the cell organelles. Due to this, they are also called the suicide bags of the cell. Other kinds of important organelles are Golgi bodies. These are the cell's packaging centers. Here, proteins are mixed with other chemicals. These are packed in bubble-type boxes. They break away from Golgi bodies and get pushed out of the cell membranes. So guys, you saw the important parts of my body. Oh, one more important part. Do you see these black dots on my body? Aha, uh -huh, yes, you can see these. These are called ribosomes. Either they float freely in cytoplasm, or they are attached to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum. These are involved in making proteins in the cell. So guys, it's time to go. My other friends in the tissue are calling me. Bye! So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos! <coughs> It also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.